also should be visible now if we have all these three uh, visible in our single figure then it becomes a isometric figure so what we do now i have taken this reference uh, again the question on the left hand side and now slowly you will see that the solution would uh, begin on your screen screen once the solution is done then we will uh, discuss the solution yes uh, you can see that first of all a reference line was made and then two uh, uh, these axes were made that is uh, front axis and back axis and the base uh, base square is made this is uh, you can say that this is the reference plane that has been made in which all the three dimensions are visible now they will take the uh, midpoints right so what is happening we'll uh, see it once again it got stuck this is the base square that was made now these are the heights which are uh, being developed now the top surface would be developed now this top surface is just for reference and uh, then we will take the midpoints of the surfaces and then what we will do is this distance between the midpoint and this will be taken as these points and a square will be drawn here because the top view is a square and this distance uh, uh, on the top view you can see is 20 by 20 by 20 which is being developed uh, right now this is the top surface square which is there now from the ends of the top surface uh, these uh, corners have been uh, touched so and then the base circle has been made dark for the uh, for your reference so this is the final figure that we have now let's start uh, seeing that what is what right so first of all this top view i will mark it by a few points by like this you can see are you able to see yes i am i guess you will be able to see i am making these small circles this surface is the top surface of the top square which is there now this top square on this figure is visible like here this is the surface which is visible which i am making zeros on right now the next surface that we want to make visible is this when you are talking about front view i will say my observer is observing from here so when i talk about this surface and i talk about this surface this surface coincides with this surface correct and this is what it looks like in the isometric view right so the checks right here the checks signify the front view the circles signify the top view now i want my side view in which i will have these lines now you can see if i am looking at uh, from this side then i am looking from this side so this face which i have is actually this face which is available to me so you, as you can see all the three dimensions are visible to me so i can say that this is the solution for my isometric problem now uh, what you might a uh, question might arise in your mind that how did we decide that what uh, these points and the distance between these points would be uh, these points how did these points arrive and how did we get these points so it is simple what what we basically did was we did uh, we took this distance which is 40 mm and we took the apparent length and this is the apparent length that we took this is the apparent length al that we took of 40 the original original was 40 and we took its apparent length and we drew this and then we made this square at the bottom 
and then we extended its height up to the height which is given to us which was uh, 60 so we took apparent length of uh, 60 and we got these points and a similar face was developed upstairs and then later on we took the apparent length of uh, top the top view and this was a top view that we received so this is how we got the points and we joined them and we got the final solution now okay let's move on to the second problem here what is given let's read the question first a circular plate a circular plate is uh, pierced through cent, uh, through centrally by a square pyramid which comes out equally from both side uh, from both faces of the plate its front view and uh, top view are shown draw the isometric view now what does it show is that there is a circular plate this is a circular plate which is shown to you this thing is a circular plate this whole area is a circular plate right now that circular plate has been uh, centrally pierced by a pyramid square pyramid so this outline that, uh, that you're seeing this outline that you're seeing is the actual outline that is visible on top of uh, the square pyramid and this is the top uh, visible part of the uh, square pyramid and then this is the surface of the square pyramid which is below the which is uh, below the disc or say the circular plate now if you want to uh, visualize it here then my dotted line is what i am seeing from here till here this covers my dotted line part and the pyramid that I am seeing at the top by my straight lines is this part of the pyramid that is visible to us correct and this disc has been pierced centrally so this much part of the disc has been compromised let's draw the solution I have taken the reference on the left hand side and the solution will now appear on the right hand side observe it carefully now the same procedure has to be followed first we have drawn all the three dimensions as a cube a cuboid and then we are drawing this disc first this is uh, the disc that is being drawn this is the circular disc which has been drawn first and then uh, this length has been drawn that is the red circle uh, that you can see on your figure which is being developed now the bottom circle has been run which was this uh, dotted line circle which is visible in the uh, top view and now this has been omitted off so now let's compare that uh, from where uh, came what okay so let's see from where came what first of all let's uh, get to the pyramid so this is the pyramid which is there the two sides of the pyramid this is uh, my observer is here so this is my front view this is my side view and from here will come my top view so these two lines that I have highlighted uh, would be from this one and this one and here if i see that this will be the surface that has been highlighted on the figures all up till now now the next uh, that we will highlight is the disc so i will use circles to highlight the disc this is uh, the top surface of the disc that i am highlighting right now oh, right now we are just talking about top uh, the top view which is visible right here this is the this is the whole thing that has been made okay now we will talk about the front view now on front view what will be visible to me what would be would be this square right which i got from this square I got this square 
now the next what I will see is this slant line so this slant line is uh, viewable in this and finally what I will see is I will see this part so this part is this one so I have my friend uh, I have interpreted my front view in getting this thing and similarly the same thing will happen on the side view which is not shown in the question so this is how I got my solution that I interpreted my uh, front view in this way and my top view in the manner that we have seen by the circles so we have our solution of this problem let's move on to the next problem okay now up till now what we were doing is what we were uh, looking at the problem and then in uh, getting the solution and then we were interpreting the solution now let's do something let's interpret the solution first let's uh, have a rough idea of what the solution would be like and then start drawing the solution uh, so now this is the front view and uh, this is the front view which is given to me given to us and this is the top view that is given to us okay now what things are given on the front view and top view let's start to compare them first yeah. let's start from the extreme this side now we know that this area is vacant yes this justifies that this area is vacant there is nothing uh, this is the only standing uh, structure that is there which is depicted by this line that th yes this is a standing structure which is at this point right now what shall we do next the next thing that it can be interpreted is that this whole surface is does not have any elevation how can we interpret it because uh, we have a straight line here we have this uh, uh, rectangle and we have this triangle now this triangle is a type of uh, stairs or uh, is not stairs you can see it is a form of a 3d triangle which has breadth so this triangle this surface this is the width of this triangle if we say we extend it on this side then this will be the width of the triangle and this uh, this hole that you can see this is a hole uh, which is demarked by this or you can see you are uh, seeing a circle will be here so this actually becomes a circle in this way and this becomes this so what a uh, basic solution we would have is that we would have uh, a rectangle first in that rectangle there would be a uh, this it will be having height right it would be something of this sort and it will have this cylinder which is depicted by uh, this these two the the, the uh, square the, which is this one and the circle it indicates that it is a pyramid and then till the end there is a rectangle so what I will have is that this is one and this is two so I will have this type of a solution which I have so what I interpreted was that I have the base as a rectangular uh, a rectangular prism so rectangular prism uh, with some height uh, say height of this is uh, this height is 10 which is uh, given to me and this width is given to me as 50 this length is given to me as 80 correct the height of the cylinder which is there that will be from here up till here this height of the cylinder is uh, given to me as 40 the distance between the center of the cylinder that is this and the end is given to me as 45 so this is the whole thing that is available to me so let's check if our uh, the interpreted solution is correct or not this is how we actually build it so this is first of all we have drawn the three axes now we are going to uh, draw the length first of the base square uh, sorry the base rectangle the length is being developed now the width developed 
now the height is also developed so we this is the base that we have now the next is we will first have a, uh, a rectangular cube that is a cuboid that is made and then within that cuboid we will make the cylinder and from that cylinder then we will drop that uh, rectangular uh, thing on the base and now the you will uh, now the things will become more clear that which are the visible lines in which are the invisible lines we have omitted out the uh, uh, lines which are uh, not visible to us so these this is the exact isometric view that you will have the red part would be excluded uh, this is just for reference that uh, this would be a kind of rectangle that will be there now if i have to explain this once again what we have here is uh, this rectangle is from the front view now this uh, front view is from here so this is the rectangle that is visible to me on the front view and this section is visible to me my base so this is the base that is visible to me and finally what I have this is line uh, which is this one it is visible in this manner to me so this is the front view that I interpreted now the top view I'm interpreting the top view first of all the empty space as we uh, discussed this whole thing is an empty space we did not have anything uh, around here and that we interpreted by the lines that we have so this is the empty space as you can see it starts from here and goes up till the back and from back it comes around so this is it now when I'm looking at uh, the top of this now this is given to me this is given to me so this is this length and finally if I say I have this circle so this circle is given here right and if I look at it from the uh, side view this uh, will be extended up to here and so I will have this height so you can see that all the surfaces that I have drawn here are actually visible in the front view and the top view the surfaces that I have drawn from the front view are visible in the front view and the surfaces which are drawn in the top view are visible in the top view so only the surface which is 